Hi everybody, it's Claire and welcome to a review of some beautiful metallic watercolour paints that I saw on our Joanna Basford Facebook group um, a few days ago last week. They are by a UK painter, a lady called uh, Karen. She has an Etsy shop which is where I sourced the, um, the colour that you can see here, the burlesque. And she's also known as Indigo Art GB on Facebook and Instagram if after this um, review you wanted to go and follow her but her shop to buy these products is on Etsy. So they are Mica metallic watercolour paints. They are artisan and let me tell you they are beautiful. They are really beautiful. So Karen makes these herself. Very, very clever lady. And as I say, they're very heavily pigmented. They're lovely and thick and they, they're mica, mica based, which gives them their, um, their sparkle and their shine. Okay. So you can buy lots of different um, sizes of sets. So you can buy on the Etsy shop, you can buy these individually. You can also buy little tins. So if I just open this up for you, you can see, she says, there we go. So this is actually a set of six. Karen will basically, basically, um, you know, you can get sets of twos, threes, fours. So Karen will basically kind of put you together the, the number that you want. And I believe there's a beautiful set of 50. And I think the largest set that Karen does is a set of 90, but clearly you can buy all of those individually. So there are plenty of beautiful colors to choose from. Uh, because they're handmade, because they're artisan, um, if you're going to order them from Etsy, give yourself about three to five days. Clearly, Karen makes these to order. And if you're wanting to treat yourself to one of the bigger sets, um, it's it's a kind of about a three week lead time. OK, so if you're thinking about getting these, just just have a little bit of a think about the um, the handmade aspect of, of these beautiful paints. OK, so you can, as I say, I've got six colours here. Um, there's lots of uh, pastel colours. Karen provides travel palettes um, and I also noticed on her Etsy shop that because she's a painter, if any of you guys have pets, she also does hand painted pet portraits on tote bags. Again, they, they will have a little bit of a lead time, but um, but have a look at the Etsy shop because uh, take, take a troll through these beautiful paints because uh, I, I bet you end up treating yourself to one or two. Okay, so when you order these, as I say, you pick your colours and they come in this beautiful little tin box, KJ designed by Karen. They have a little um, card here, so that's your tester palette. So if you wanted to, it looks like a, it is its watercolour paper, so that if you wanted to just make yourself a little uh, a little tester palette to remind yourself what the colours look like, that's there for you. Now, cleverly, these all come with a little magnet on the bottom, so that when you put them in your tin, you can hear that they stick. So if you're kind of travelling around and it's bouncing about, they're not going to go anywhere. And when you open the lid, they're not going to fly out. So that's quite a nice little, a nice little touch. So what I thought we'd do is, you can see I've got my um, trusty 4-0 paintbrush, very fine tip. I use this because I do a lot of fine detail in colouring books. Clearly, if you're using these, it's up to you which type of brush you use, which thickness of brush you use, because you'll know what, what pages you're, you're painting. So it doesn't have to be a brush like this that you test these with or that you use these with. This is just what I'm using today. I've also got my little trusty egg cup full of water and a little bit of kitchen wool to clean my brush. OK, so what we're going to do is <clears throat> as I go through, I'm going to tell you about these products. And let me just quickly show you, you will have seen me use these clear or metallic watercolour paints extensively on my tutorials. Um, I've also got here the beautiful set of Paul Rubens. OK, and some beautiful gold and silver Van Gogh. OK, now I just wanted those to hand because there's a couple of points I want to make about these as I go through, having um, having already tried them. So what I thought we'd do is I thought I'd swatch them up for you. So I'm just going to put a little water in my hand. And as I say, I've got black paper here. But what I've also got to hand is I've got some watercolour paper off, off camera and I've also got a Joanna Basford colouring book because I just wanted to show you that they um they work really nicely on all kinds of paper media. And the reason that they do is, let me show you, I've got the tiniest bit of water on my brush and this is just a beautiful colour, this burlesque colour. 
Look at it, it's kind of like a plum colour. Now look at that. You'll have seen my tutorials on the Calero paints, the Calero metallic watercolour paints. You've got to put water on, you know, and leave it for a minute or two. This, it thickens instantly. It's just beautiful. So that I don't think there's an awful lot of prep and it's thickening with the tiniest bit of water as well. So they actually thicken a lot quicker than um, the Calero paints. Now, having tried the Paul Rubens and the Van Gogh as well, they do actually um, take water faster than the Calero, but not as fast as this. This just thickens literally instantly, literally instantly. It's really good. And it just harks to it being a very, very good quality paint. Okay. So, as I say, we've got the burlesque. What I might do at this point, actually, just so that you can see better, is zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Let's put my water cup over here. Okay. And we'll just do a little bit of a swatch for you. Look at that. And I'm going to move this paper and see if it catches the light so that you can see. Just what pretty, 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 pretty colours these are. So can you see the burlesque? Beautiful, beautiful plum colour. And if I just... It's just a little bit wet, so it's catching the light, but look, look at that beautiful plum colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's have a look at the flash copper. Which one is the flash copper? I'm guessing it's this one. Yes, copper colour. Let's do the same. Let's do the same and have a play. And what I want to show you actually is as I'm going along, look at the look at the thickness of these paints. So these paints, if you buy them individually, are 5 99 each. But look, look how much paint you get. Look how much paint you get. That that is quite thick. If I just grab if I just grab a Calero. Now I know these pans are bigger in the Caleros. But can you see? Can you see how thick that is? Now I know they're bigger in, in, um, in circumference and these are four euros each I think, no, yeah four euros fifty each I think to buy individually so uh, cost wise, you know, given that these are artisan handmade, I think they're, they're really good value for money. Okay, so flash copper, let's swatch this up, as I say it's going to take very very little water because they're beautiful quality. What I like is as well, you can see all these little individual kind of like, they're all slightly, so they're, they're domed on the top, but they've all got like their indi little individual little like kind of faces almost. They're little, they're little cracks, so each one of them is individual with them being handmade. You can see the love that goes even to each and every one. And as I say, I only saw these, wow, look at that. I only saw these on our Joanna Basford Facebook group a few days ago. And with the help of Michelle Partham, thank you, Michelle, I managed to track them down to Etsy. I bought one and asked Karen if she would like me to do a review. And bless her, she sent, sent this little set for me to show you, just to demonstrate how gorgeous they are. And like I say, they, they thicken up instantly. It's really impressive. You've, you've got to leave the Caleros for quite a while. Can you see that if I move the paper? If I move it up for you? They're so rich. They're so rich and the coverage is brilliant. I'm actually looking at this one and what was it, about a minute ago that we put that down? So that's, that's almost dry, that top burlesque colour. So I'm reckoning probably three minutes for it to dry tops, which isn't bad, which is quite good. Uh, where are we going to now? Bronze. Let's swatch bronze up. Bronze. Tiny bit of water, that's all you need. And you can feel that they're thick on the end of your brush. You can feel that they're not watery at all. So this is kind of like a... What is, it's a bronze colour, but it's very... It's kind of got, I can see gold pigments in it, which makes it really nice because it's catching the light. I 
And like I said, these are very easy to get hold of. And I haven't seen them used all that much on our Facebook site, but dear me, with my pages going forward, you'll probably see me using these more and more because they are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, can you see the bronze okay? Now what? Dark brown. Let's have a go at dark brown. And this would be one, the, the, actually this palette is quite a good example of ones I would pick for myself because I try and get um, a gold and I try and get at least one brown because the things in our in the Joanna Basford colouring books are kind of trees and leaves. So I would be buying myself these kind of colours. So I'd be buying myself kind of like a goldy bronze one. I would certainly be buying like a pinky plum one for um, flowers. And then I would definitely be buying a, a brown one for trees and a green greens for leaves. So this is actually a really good little starter set for me. For our Joanna Basford books. Well, any colour in books, but they, they particularly suit, these colours particularly suit the um, the content of Joanna's pages. So thick. And they, they apply, they're like, um, they're quite soft to apply. For all their mica base, they, they're not grainy at all. They're very, very, very smooth. Really smooth. Clean that off. Can you see that? Can you see the dark brown? I just move that slightly. There you go. You can see it. Let me just check the burlesque. Yes, the burlesque is, is dry. Gold green. Beautiful green colour. Beautiful. So like I say, Karen has an Instagram page and a Facebook page called Indigo Art GB. So if you want to follow her on either of those, like I say, she creates these paints, but she's also an artist. And from what I can see on her Instagram gallery, she's a very talented artist. And I particularly like that she does pet portraits, because you know me, I've got two, two dogs. I've got a, a Labrador and a Dalmatian. So anything to do with pet portraits is, is right up my street. And like I say, I'm, I'm using these from, from dry. So usually you would see me have the Caleros pre-prepped, but these aren't. They're just literally instantly thick. And like I say, Karen will put your... I mean, you can buy them individually, but Karen will kind of make your sets up bespoke. So whichever colours you pick. Clearly the larger sets, I think, the 50s and the 90s are set colour choices and a set of 90 is just something out of your perfect <laughs> Christmas day it really is what does that look like gold green can you see so we'll do the last one on black which is lake blue lake blue And then we'll do a quick test just to see how they do on white paper. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a gorgeous colour. I don't know how you do these, Karen, but they're absolutely gorgeous. What does that look like? Does it look as pretty to you as it does to me on paper? Let's have a look. Okay, just put that to one side for a second. I'll lift this up so you can see it. There, there we go. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? And they applied really well, really, really smoothly. Um, okay. Let's have a go. We'll have a quick go at this is proper watercolour card. You can hear it because it's thick. 
I've actually got, um, this is just something I've worked on a few months ago. It was just a test of this paper. These, this is actually intense, Derwent intense watercolour pencils. So I'm just going to, what colour should we pick? Let's go back to that first. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though, just so that you can see them and they're not off camera. I'm just going to put them back in the little dish so that you can just view those colours while we go along. Okay. So, let's have a go at this burlesque. And this actually, because we wet it before, it's still quite wet actually. So you need very little water to reactivate it. Beautiful and thick. Okay, let's just have a look. Can you see this petal here? Yes, you can. Can you see how it applies to watercolour paper? And now you can see why I'm using such a small brush because these are the kind of designs that I usually work on. And do you know what I might do actually? You know how you've seen me blend Camille's together? Let me just see what happens. So this isn't planned. And let me just see what happens if I grab this beautiful bronze. I'll just put it all over my fingers, bear with me. I just want to know how well they mix, if you know what I mean. Let me clean this brush properly and get that burlesque off it. I wanted that rose petal, two colours. Let me just put the, the bronze here. And if you're blending metallic watercolours, you want, you've seen my tutorials on blending clear oil paints, you want these to be wet when you're blending them, just so that you can blur the lines. Like I say, this isn't planned, but I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be good. I'm just going to pull the lighter into the darker. And just see how well they mix. Like I say, I hadn't planned to do this, but it just suddenly occurred to me that they're so smooth. It'll probably work quite well, and it is. And like I say, the best way to blend paints like this is just to keep them wet. And because this is watercolour paper as well, you can afford to be a little bit more generous with your water. Does that look like it may melt it together? Let's have a look. It's not too bad at all, actually. Yeah, those, those blend together really nicely and it doesn't surprise me because they're so soft to apply. Very nice. Can you see? So they've blended really nicely together. Okay, so last test. Let's have a look. I've got a page in Joanna Basford's Secret Garden. This one, let's just have a quick test to see how they handle on colouring book white paper. Again, because the burlesque's already wet. You see what I'm doing still? Let's just give this one last test. I'm covered in, I'm covered in gold green, look. I'm sure you'll be less messy when you try them. Although sometimes getting messy with paint is quite fun. Okay, let's just try it on the circle. And like I say, as in all colouring books, they're very, very, unless you get a proper watercolour book, they're not watercolour paper, they're just standard kind of like cardstock. Not even as thick as cardstock sometimes. 
and this is why I had my thin brush out, my very, very small 4-0 brush. Two reasons. It really helps you control how much water you put on the page because clearly this is a tiny brush and it will hold not very much water. So you're not in grave danger of making this paper warp with too much water going on. And secondly, this is actually quite a big design for me, but usually I, I colour and paint designs where I'm going into a lot smaller space, hence the smaller brush. So I'm just going to finish this off and then we'll turn the page over and just see how it's laid down. It's going on smoothly again. Now I know these colours show up better on black, but wait till I turn this page into the light for you because even though this is on white paper, the colour is still beautiful. I think it's always better to swatch these things on black, but most of us won't use black paper all the time. So let's just have a look. Clean that off. Put that back in the little tray. I'm probably covered in burlesque now as well. Yep. Uh, right, let's have a look. So if I, yeah, can you see that that is, I know, I know it's wet and you can still see it's wet, but can you see how beautiful that colour still is on white paper? So without dabbing anything, let's just turn this over. Yep, yeah, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. There's no bleed through. There's no warping or anything. Really pleased with that. So hopefully that's been useful um, in terms of a comparison and where you can get them from and what you can do with them. Like I say, KJ Design by Karen is Karen's Etsy shop. Indigo Art GB is her Instagram and Facebook page. And I really, really hope you try these. As I say, they, they come beautifully packaged. They're wonderfully artisan. I love handmade things like this. This is the lady. Um, came in a very, very nice little, little bag. And they're beautiful paints. Karen, thank you so much for letting me review these. It's been a real pleasure. Bye for now, guys.